What's going on guys, it's Dale here from Demsec and today we're going to be installing Metasploitable 3. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have used Metasploitable 2 before and um, essentially it's just a vulnerable, vulnerable virtual machine. Uh, it's absolutely loaded with security vulnerabilities and the idea is it allows you to test exploits in Metasploit and um, just get a better idea of what exploits are available and what kind of stuff you can do with Metasploit. Um, the difference between like Metasploitable 3 and Metasploitable 2 Metasploitable 2 is given out as like a zip file which you could then extract and just from there immediately run the VM Metasploitable 3 because it runs on uh, it's a Windows VM you need a number of different tools to go ahead and install this and um, the requirements here are Packer, Vagrant, a Vagrant Reload plugin and VirtualBox. You actually need a particular version of VirtualBox which is a bit of a pain but if you go to downloads on the VirtualBox website go to older builds 5.1 and in here this 5.110 is what you want and you want this download here. I've already got it so I'm not going to go through that again. We also need Packer. Um, I'm going to drop in a video here which will show you how to install Packer to install Packer, firstly we're going to download the Packer EXE from the Packer website. Just going to wait for that to download. Once we've got that, we're just going to simply extract it. And I'm going to put it in a folder in Program File. So I'm going to create a folder in there just called Packer. And then I'm just going to simply drag and drop the EXE into that directory because it's a uh, C program files folder you're going to have to accept administrator there. Next we're going to have to add that directory into our path otherwise we won't be able to use it from the command prompt which is what we need. So this is the environment variable as you saw there you right click on the start button hit system and then advanced settings. We're going to edit path here go to new and then we're just going to grab the path from uh, the folder we just created paste it into there as a new entry hit ok twice, three times in fact, and then uh, run command prompt and type packer to make sure it works and then there's going to be a screenshot on the screen right now showing you how to install this Vagrant Reload plugin it's all pretty simple to go ahead and install, it can just be a little bit time consuming once we have all that we're going to go ahead and download this repository because I'm on Windows and I don't have git installed, I'm just going to download the zip I've already done that but just download the zip and extract it somewhere so I've got a header extracted it to my downloads folder and uh, once we've got this far we can go ahead and run this build script here but before we do that we need to run a, uh, a PowerShell uh, instance of Windows PowerShell and we need to run that as administrator so I have my instance of PowerShell here running as administrator and I've already changed directory to where uh, my where I downloaded the repository from and I have it there all uh, extracted. One thing you're going to want to do before we carry on is check your execution policy. On mine it's unrestricted, on yours it'll probably be restricted. To set it to unrestricted is pretty simple. You change that to set execution policy and we say unrestricted. And we say yes to all, which is A. So now that's set, we can run the script which is included here, this build win 2008 PS1, which is a power script. PowerShell script. And I'm going to do run once. Let's go check that we've got everything installed correctly. I've already partly downloaded the ISO, so it shouldn't take that long to go ahead and install, but it is going to go ahead to Microsoft and download an evaluation copy of Windows Server 2008. As you can see, mine's starting on 96%. So the script has now downloaded the ISO and it's going to run a uh, auto unattend file which essentially allows the script to go ahead and set up this virtual machine exactly how it wants to. It's going to create the virtual machine, it's going to create the hard drive, attach the floppy disk and then go ahead and launch the VM with the auto attend file. It's all doing this in the background and uh, it's pretty much hands off at this point, we just let it run. So that's now finished running the uh, build script which was provided, provided as part of the uh, repository. Um, as it says here, success, uh, Vagrant up to provision and start the VM. So we're going to do that, Vagrant up. So the previous Vagrant up we've just run now is completed and as you can tell here it's taken quite a while, it's taken around an hour to complete that. 
So what I did after that is run Vagrant Suspend, which uh, stops the VM and suspends execution. And now I'm just doing Vagrant up again, which will boot up the VM. And as it says here, it's already provisioned. Um, we can get the IP address of this VM quite easily. Uh, if we do Vagrant SSH, that'll automatically SSH those into the Windows box. And then we can do IP config from here and get the IP address of uh, of the virtual machine so if you want to start scanning it and all that kind of fun stuff to actually attack this and try out some of the vulnerabilities we can do it like that so that's about it for this video um, I'm sorry it was kind of a bit hands off and a bit short a lot of this video was just a matter of run the script and where which uh, yeah I'm sorry about that um, we're going into the new year now so I'm kind of limited for time and what I can do universities kind of reaching a um, I guess a peak in terms of workload all that kind of stuff so I'm kind of limited uh, to what I can do um, in terms of these videos so hopefully you enjoyed that I hope you had all had a good Christmas or holidays or whatever I hope you all had a good time off if you don't um, celebrate any of those things if you have any questions head over to the forums uh, there'll be a blog post about this where you can comment on it there'll also be a uh, forum article if you missed any of the instructions in this video or you need further explanation, there's a full written version of this over on demsec.co.uk. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I guess I'll see you next time where we're going to start covering some of these uh, the vulnerabilities inside this VM. So I just thought I'd put this at the end of the video. Once you've run this Vagrant Suspend, you're able to access the VM in uh, the GUI manager for VirtualBox. Uh, it'll be there as suspended, so I've now run it which gives us the GUI and we can do control alt delete insert control alt delete and the default credentials credentials sorry should be vagrant and vagrant so we'll just wait for this uh, login box to pop up here we go we've got vagrant yep so I've put in the vagrant password so this gives us uh, the opportunity to um, you know configure anything we need to on the virtual host a lot of the uh, sorry all, all of the vulnerability should be able to be done remotely but this is just a bit i wanted to add at the end for those who want to access the vm